all right so instead of uh, one second instead of um no instead of nothing sorry let's create the blockchain the yeah, let's create the function that creates a new block so i'm going to say create new block all right and what this function takes the only argument it takes is data okay and data is a string and when this function is going to return to me it's a block all right here we go so first we need to get the previous block all right and we already have this thankfully and this should be a block of course so we say get latest block correct great okay that's the first part now we need to get a new index like the new index of the block so new index right and the type of this will be a number of course because numbers are indexes all right number and the number we just say previous block that index plus one so if the previous block index was one this one is going to be two great next one will be next times stamp all right and this will be of course a number all right and this will be equals to get new timestamp. Opa, awesome. All right. Now, I don't know. I just, I'm really in love with TypeScript because if I do something like this, right, later it's going to tell me this function returns a block and you want a number. I mean, it's so safe. I don't know. It's just cool. All right. And now next hash. So I'll say next hash and hash is a string. Oh, sorry hash that'll be a string all right and i will say block that calculate block hash right and this is not necessary like you don't have to put it here in static you could put it outside next to this all right calculate block hash i just wanted to show you how cool it is to have static and um non-static um functions all right because maybe you need them one day and as you can see here all right, the calculate block hash doesn't uh, it doesn't show up on the index JS. All right, it shows up outside like this, so it's not it's not static per se, because there is no static on um, like the way we want it to be. All right, and now calculate block hash and block hash needs the index, so this will be new index. All right, previous hash, this will be a previous block has a hash hash yes timestamp next timestamp awesome and data this will be the data that we get awesome so this will be next hash and now let's create a new block so i will say const new block equals new block but wait one second i need to say this returns a block this is a block all right new block it's a block and i say new block and I give all the things it needs so it needs the new index it needs it needs the new hash so next hash let's change from next to new all right new 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 index new timestamp I like it all right new hash new hash okay new index new hash uh, Previous previous block previous hash, we just do the same thing. Previous block that hash data, the data that comes from here. And last one, new timestamp. Alright, this will be new block. And let's return the block because as you can see here now TypeScript is crying. It's saying, yo, you said you were going to return a block and you didn't return a, bo a block. All right, you're returning void or any whatever. So I'm going to say return, <coughs> return new block. Now TypeScript is happy, and now what I want to do is I want to create two blocks. I want to console log, create new block, and the data will be hello, and create new block. Bye bye. Okay, and let's see. Node.js, boom. So new block, block index, blah, 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 and block two, 
Bye bye. And the index has a problem. Oh. Oh, wait. Block, the index is one. That it should be previous block that index plus one. Get latest block. All right, this is a bug. I am going to fix it until the next one. See you there. Bye bye.